Ewan. Oh, thank you very much. Um, just uh, what was the question again? Because I think we've gone. <laughs> <laughs> It's um, it, gone completely sideways. No, no, and, um, <laughs> it's November the 1st. Yes, it's You've just been, the first. I've just been elected mayor. just been elected mayor. And look, I think, look, I was a city councillor in Waitakere, which was uh, 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 something I was very, very proud of. And, um, and, and, uh, and it's a great, it is a great uh, city. And as Len has pointed out, he wants to turn all of Auckland into a Waitakere. Um, <laughs> Which is, a, I think, is a fantastic idea. But the reason that we made Waitakere so fantastic was because we truly listened to the people. Consultation is more than just ticking the box to follow due process. Um, you know, we have to have consultation. The government has said we have to have it. But we need to listen to that consultation as well. And I don't think that that happens nearly enough. Um, uh, without, uh, again, joining with uh, Colin here, I think we're singing off the same uh, song sheet a little bit. I'm a big believer in referendum. I, b I believe that if we have referendums, we could do that twice a year on the back of the rates. You get your rates bill, you open it up, it's, look here, you owe us shitloads of money, but how do you feel about Maori seats? Have really important, have really important questions on the bottom of those rates. And, uh, and, and this is where the community boards, this is where the community boards can really come in and, and feel like they have some ownership and feel like they're being listened to. Like when a person goes to the community board and goes, look, our street is, is really, really dangerous. People are, are rat running, which is where they don't use the main road, they, they, they use the back roads to get a, a, a five cars ahead or something. Now we had this, I sat on the community board in, in Henderson, I was a community board member. We had that with one of our roads, we got the whole neighbourhood there. We got the whole neighbourhood down, they bought photos, everything. We spent a day or two walking up and down their street and we've solved the problem of their street, but they actually solved the problem. We just uh, uh, facilitated the funding, pretty much. Um, and that's how I think it's got to be done. I think that the, the councillors have to go to community board meetings. I think the mayor has to go to community board meetings. I think the MPs for Auckland should be made to go to community board meetings and front up because so many times it is central Auckland is making decisions for the people of uh, central government, sorry, is making decisions for, the, for, the, for, for people without actually going and seeing them properly. Uh, that's my view there. I'm going to quickly actually move on to how to engage with uh, the Wellington because I do have to go. And uh, engaging with Wellington, I sort of half, half put that forward by making, let's make uh, the MPs go to the community boards so that they are engaged, so they know what's going on in their city. But also, I think that central government, they actually need to find ways to engage with us. We're the ones that have got $28 billion worth of assets. We've got $2 billion worth of, of running costs a year. We're a huge part of the, of the economic hub of New Zealand as a whole, and I think that central government needs to come to us and go, shit, sorry, where have we gone wrong? How can we change that? Thanks very much. Well, okay. um, a quick question. A quick, a quick question for you and before he has to go off and, and, and work. Not this isn't I've work. got a mortgage, you see. I don't, have, right. a, a I don't quick, have the war chest to be able to fund my campaign. A question for you and... No, I... I, I'm going to let you go. All right, thank you very, very, very much. A very big Again, hand for you. Thank you very much. For more, see SimonPress.com. Len, crucially, you're mayor. It's November the 1st. You've got 21 local boards out there. How's that engagement going to work? I just want to address the question that was raised um, by the lady up there and the question or the comment was why the hell should I vote? And uh, that was a sort of the basis of a, um, of a concern that was expressed around the community when the, the super city proposal was announced. That people felt they'd be marginalised, left out of the process, not consulted, not included, their views ignored. Uh, and so there was a sense, well we just muzzle march from it. Just marginalise it and, and ignore it, pretend it's not there. And then I came to a decision that it was critical that you actually own it. And it was crucial for our communities to accept that Parliament in its wisdom, uh, the sovereign state of New Zealand has made a decision, uh, has presented us with a structure that we've all inputted over three bills, uh, and it's back to us, it's back to the community for us to finally shape that. And, and make that in, in our own hopes and in our own fashion. I have spent 
much of my life pretty much embedded in the community and in working within our community in particular. Uh, we've, uh, in Manukau, had a real strong focus on, on building strong communities across some extraordinary diverse communities, amazing multiculturalism. And so the challenges in bringing that together have been pretty quantum. It's also been a very young community and a community that has had its challenges in and around issues to do with law and order. And so how well uh, we engage our communities, empower them, bring them into the process will have a major impact on whether or not Auckland actually unites. It's a key part of it. And so the community boards, yes, they are crucial. And our, how well our communities connect into those community boards and the sense of empowerment that they have from them and the delegations that we give to them are critical. And I'm comfortable with the delegations the ATA have proposed, but I've proposed even more. And it was a good point you made about the fact that they didn't have a role to do with resource management. Of course they should. How else do you shape your own local community? And so the issue of having empowered uh, community boards uh, is critical and I believe it will be delivered between now and, uh, and the 1st of November. But to connect them back into the, the council, there's, of course the councillors should be sitting on there. I as a Mayor of Manukau have sat in our community boards over the last three years and have relished that opportunity. I was a community board member for 12 years on the Otara community board. Some of the most significant changes that, that I was able to bring to bear through that 12 years of being a councillor were sitting on that community board and being able to generate some real change within the community. And so uh, as a mayor, I will certainly be sitting on community boards. Now, it will be hard to rotate, but 21 boards, I will be sitting there. I'll be sitting once a month with the chairs of those boards to ensure that there's a, song, uh, there's a strong sync between the boards and the council. And I'll also be looking to ensure that the CCOs and their representatives in fact sit with the boards every three months to ensure they get feedback from the boards in terms of the CCO's actions and that the CCOs get to report into the boards. The boards will be articulating the concerns of their local community and bringing to the council their plans to plug into the spatial plan, to plug into the three fora that I want to run on environment, social and economic growth and infrastructure and to ensure that the level of funding that comes back into the boards uh, will in fact be commensurate with the needs of those boards and it will be fair. There will be no Otahu swimming pool examples sitting in the new Auckland Council. Everyone will get fair and equitable justice and fair and equitable distribution of their rates back into the community on an appropriate basis. No one missing out on the basis that they're not a part of the A-team.